So I might have screwed up a little bit. You know, this um, this battery is charging up, and I have a, my solar is pumping right now. I'm pushing about 600 watts out of my solar, and I was over here, and I just happened to touch the wires, and they're pretty damn hot. And I'm thinking to myself, that's weird. I mean, you know, 12 gauge should carry 600 watts of solar, and it is the solar wires that are hot. I was thinking, you know, 12 gauge should carry um, you know, the 600 watts of solar just fine. And I'm looking at it, and somehow it's 16 gauge. And I'm scratching my head, and the thing that I think confused me is this is landscaping wire, so it's, it's outdoor rated, and it has a really thick sheath on it to make it outdoor rated, which kind of made me, I think it made me think that it was thicker wire than it really was. And I, I have 12 gauge outdoor wire, and I think I just mentally confused which wire I was working with. And so I've wired all the solar with 16 gauge. And 16 gauge can, you know, is maxed out at like maybe 13 amps. And I mean, right now, uh, let me bring you over here. Uh, there's 18 amps flowing in right now. So yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely hot. Another thing is, um, these are pretty warm as well. Now that may just be the heat from the wires. Um, in fact, I think it is the heat from the wires. Yeah, these wires are literally damn near burning me. Um, it's ridiculous. So that is my screw up. I'm gonna have to rewire the, the solar wiring. And I did find the 12 gauge wire, so I need to, I'll switch to that. But um, yeah, that was my, my screw up. So. Um, double check your wires before you, you wire everything and don't assume anything and, and don't assume, you know, I've told you before, don't assume like um, wire is copper when it might be aluminum. Um, so I, I got some rewiring to do. I was going to say, I, was, I thought that these might be struggling a little bit at 20 amps, but I definitely think it's the, ooh, I'm not joking, I just burnt myself. I am unplugging my solar right now. Um, that uh, is that is hot. Um, I was thinking that it might just. I, I was thinking it was just the heat transfer from the from the wire into these bus bars that was making the bus bars hot, but. Um, it, it may be the bus bars are hot as well. Um, you know, 20 amps is probably definitely pushing the limits of, of what these bus bars are sort of rated for. So I might um, beef them up with some copper um, or I could join the incoming, and out, uh, the incoming solar and the battery wire on the same terminal so that the bus bar itself doesn't have to carry the, carry the load during the solar. So I got some thinking to do here for sure, but uh, yeah, when you start play playing with big solar, um, you can't uh, you can't go scrawny on your wires. So let me show you a couple things. This is the wire that I did use and wired everything with. This is the wire I meant to use. Uh, this is 16 gauge. This is 12 gauge. Noticeably thicker cross sections here. Um, um, yeah, this is this is at least twice the copper, if not more. Um, but again, the thing about it is they have such thick jackets on them that it's kind of um, misleading as to how thick the wires are. Now, here's something very interesting. This wire is the wire that was attached to the bus bar. Do you see the discoloration in the copper? That's from heat. So this this wire was getting severely heated and damaged. Um, so good thing I caught it. Now, you know, it occurred to me afterwards, part of the issue is um, I, I, you know, I recently upgraded my uh, solar panels and when I originally wired it, I only had about 250 watts of solar. Now I have um, closer to 600 watts of solar. So 
definitely the increase in solar put more strain on this wire. But there's one other thing. I, I reconfigured the solar from high voltage low amps to low voltage high amps. My old solar panels were 80 volts at about 3.5 amps. My new solar panels are 40 volts at 20 amps. And so I have more than quadrupled the amps and wire gauge is amp dependent. So the uh, not only did I increase the amount of solar, but I more than quadrupled the amps. And that's what was causing my problem. This wire gauge just isn't suitable for the increased amps. So, but again, I, I it was my screw up. I meant to use this gauge the whole time and, and I didn't. So um, anyways, let me rewire everything and we'll, I'll show you around. Okay, we are, we are rewired with a 12 gauge oxygen free copper. Um, it's a lot beefier and actually let me just take the mobile and show you what I've done. So this is, um, all the connections are the same. It's, I've just switched this 12 gauge oxygen free copper and I um, operated the, uh, the wiring coming from the solar and used a uh, MC5 connection instead of an XT60. Um, but this is that 12 gauge, uh, yeah, you can see here, uh, 12 gauge um, oxygen free copper. So this stuff is uh, pretty beefy. This is what I thought I was using and somehow I wasn't. I also redid the um, connections to the bus bars here um, with all this, uh, this is all that 12 gauge and I added these little links copper links between the main battery wire and the incoming solar just because this is what was um, completing the circuit between the bus bars and if I mean we were putting over 20 amps we were putting 20 amps through that um, so that is still there but I added this additional copper uh, link um, between the two main power wires just so that this doesn't have to carry all this doesn't have to carry all the current and I think that'll help with uh, keeping everything cool and and all the current flowing as needed. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, you can see it runs down to the uh, the shunt over there. That's our new main negative, and our new main positive runs up here onto the uh, positive switch. So that's everything fixed. Um, kind of dumb of me to. Um, you know, check your wires. I, I swear I was using 12 gauge. I remember thinking about it, but. Like I said, this this um, outdoor wiring has really thick sheathing, and um, that's what kind of confused me as to the, it, it looked thicker than it was. Anyways, everything is uh, fixed up, and uh, I'll see you next time.